Hi everyone, so here's another question I received, which is, why is the top of a linear demand curve considered to be elastic, and the bottom of the curve is considered to be inelastic? So here's the picture that you might have in mind. So we have a linear demand curve. At the very top, the price elasticity of demand is infinite, perfectly elastic. During this, uh, the upper portion between the midpoint and the very top, we'd say demand is elastic, very responsive, greater than one. At the midpoint, price elasticity of demand is 1, call that unit elastic. The lower portion of the demand curve is inelastic. Here we have elasticity between 0 and 1 in absolute value. And then at the very bottom, price elasticity of demand is 0. Right? So why is it that the top is elastic and the bottom is inelastic? Okay, well, I can show you this with a numerical example probably best. Uh, but first, let's start off thinking about our definition of price elasticity of demand which is the percentage change in quantity divided by percentage change in price. Right? Percentage change in quantity divided by percentage change in price. So we're interested in if there's a price change, what's the responsiveness in terms of the quantity change? Okay, so suppose we're at the very top of the demand curve, and here I'll say at the very top, a one unit change in price is a smaller percentage than a one unit change in quantity. Right, because price is really big if we're up here. Think about this numerically. The vertical axis is price. Here price goes from 1 to 10, right? And then quantity goes from 0 to 10 down here. So if we're, if we're at the top of the demand curve, we have a really low quantity, something close to 0. And 1 unit is pretty big, right? That's a pretty big uh, percentage change in quantity. And then, you know, a 1 unit change out of 10, or if this was, you know, even further, if this is like a 1,000 or a million or whatever, a one unit change, once, once you get further, further up the vertical axis, small changes are smaller percentages, even, you know, so going from 9 to 10 is a one unit change, or going from 10 to 9 actually, rather, is a one unit change, and that's, uh, that's only a 10% uh, change from 10, but then look at our change, our percentage change in price going from 0 to 1, right, that's a huge change, right, so a one unit change in price is a smaller percentage than a one unit change in quantity if you're at the very top. What about at the bottom? At the very bottom, a one unit change in price is a much larger percentage um, in a much unit, a one unit change in price is a much larger percentage than a one unit change in quantity. Right? Here we have a large quantity, so one unit is small relative to the quantity, right? Changing from 10 down to 9, right, walking back up the demand curve, one is a much smaller percentage of 10 than one is here of uh, relative to price. So now going back to the definition, so why does this all matter? Well here, if you have a relatively small percentage change in price, but a huge percentage change in quantity, that's very responsive, that's elastic. That's why the top of the demand curve is elastic. Down here at the bottom, if you have a really large percentage change in price, and that causes a very small percentage change in quantity, that's a very unresponsive demand, very inelastic. And that is why at the very top of the demand curve we say that demand is elastic, responsive. At the bottom we say it's inelastic or unresponsive. And what happens at the midpoint, what happens in the middle, they're proportional. So here if we're at 5, suppose we're at 5, right, um, a one unit change going in one direction or the other is much closer. And matter of fact, if you do it exactly at the midpoint, the one unit change in, in, in price and in quantity is exactly uh, exactly the same percentage, and that's why the elasticity would be, the percentage change would be, uh, would, would be proportional, and that's why the elasticity we compute would be 1 at the midpoint, so it's bigger than 1 up here because the percentage is larger relative for, uh, for quantity than for price, and down here, the elasticity is smaller than 1 because the, the, percent, the percentage change in price is proportionally larger than percentage change in quantity. Okay. 